Hello. Welcome to the League of Women Voters Cable Program, City, People, and Issues. I'm Ina Arano, your host uh, for tonight. And my guest tonight is Bob Marone. And as you, many of you already know, if you recognize the name, he is host of WVX uh, radio program, Good Morning Westchester. And for those fans of his who have never seen him in person, here he is. Welcome, Bob. Hi, thank you very much. Handsome, I, I hope they're not too, well, thank you. I hope they're not too <laughs> disappointed. I don't think so. Uh, it's nice to be with you. Great. And I thought we'd chat a little bit about, some, about who you are, what your background is, what you are trying to accomplish with your show. Absolutely. And something about WVOX, which is a very unique uh, radio station. Well, well, yeah, you asked me about me first, but I guess I'll start with the radio station. WVOX is one okay. of the last of its kind, the fact that it's local. Uh, it's the last privately owned station in the region. It's owned by, by Bill O'Shaughnessy, and everybody knows him here in, in Westchester. Right, he's one of the most uh, interesting characters. Well, he, he really <laughs> is. And, uh, uh -huh. you know, the, both the call letters and what he hopes for that station are pretty much one and the same. It's the voice of the people. It's one of the last places where locally you can get local news, and whatever opinion you have, so long as it's not part of the seven dirty, dirty words, uh, it pretty uh, much is going to go on When you say that, I want to know what they are. No, I we can don't only think know. Of about they, four they'll they'll, they'll have to cancel this. Uh, so <laughs> right. the station is, that's why it's WVOX, Voice of the People. Right, okay. Uh, and and it, if you take a look at even what the objective of the show is, it's we repeat it at the top of every hour. This is your local morning news mm -hmm. and information service, and that's what you can't get anywhere else. Uh, if it's going on in your shelf, it's going on in Pelham or Yonkers or Mamaroneck, we talk about it. Now, we do other stuff. Uh, we're an affiliate of Fox now for news, and uh, they've been uh, good enough to provide us with correspondence around the world. And mm -hmm. it makes for, for great radio, that combination, plus all the local stuff that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, now, in terms of me, uh, I'm late to radio, only about just a little under a decade now. I was a corporate communications guy and a corporate educator, trainer. I wrote training programs, taught things like that, did voiceovers, wrote speeches. And it was my intent all my life, you know, you still don't know you're going to be able to do it, was to do the radio. Mm -hmm. And I go back to the days of Long John Nebel and Barry Farber, and uh, I grew up in a house full of women where they owned the television. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, still my heart very much is still there. And I grew up with a lot of sisters, and they controlled the television set, so I listened to a lot of radio, either a ball game up in my bedroom or um, talk shows. And I said, radio is what I'd like to do. But, you know, life intervenes. I had a daughter. Uh, you raise your family. And then I said, around the age of 50, I'll go back. And the way circumstances worked, I went back to school uh, just around the age of the change of the decade, studied, uh, studied journalism at the new school and, and publishing. And then I went to broadcast school. And then I started working my way back up while I still worked, which was, was a very difficult time, actually. I mean, I do weekends, work 36 hours, 24 hours in a weekend, and go to work on Monday, and, and mm -hmm. it was tough, but if... <laughs> you were still working in the corporate world? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, and, uh, well, actually, I'd left the corporate world when I started, and I was doing, I was closing down a business that I had. So I left corporate America, closed down the business, went to school, mm -hmm. and then uh, the business didn't go that well, so I went uh, back to corporate America for a couple of years, earned some money back, but kept doing the radio throughout. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it's, and, and it was useful, actually, because the ethics that, the work ethic that I had from Wall Street and a lot of the skills were transferable, more so the work ethic. Because when you get, when you get as I would, arrive at uh, a radio station at 7 o'clock at night, do a show from 9 to 12, uh, then from 12, do board operating and announcing until 9 in the morning. Mm -hmm. and then you sleep and go back again at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock at night. It's, it was tough, but it was fun. I, I love the radio. Mm -hmm. Okay. And WVOX... Um, it's an AM station. Where does it reach? It reaches... Okay, we reach uh, pretty much most of Westchester. Mm -hmm. It's the densely populated Westchester area, mm -hmm. southern Connecticut, uh, parts of Long Island and Queens, which always amazes me. The signal right. doesn't seem to be a perfect circle. Oh, I circle. hear you loud and clear in the, bro in the Bronx. In the Bronx. Well, clear, or down to the Bronx, the, the, uh, the northern parts of Manhattan, uh, mm -hmm. and Long Island. So uh, it's, it's got a good reach in, in that densely populated area. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's... Uh, but again, the, the biggest thing about WVOX, we are the only station left. We're the only news talk station left in Westchester and the only local station that does news talk. 
Now you hear these horror stories about how some small towns ha you know, might have an emergency and they run to the radio station to uh, do emergency broadcasting and there's nobody there. But well, I yeah, because it may be being run by a computer, which is very right. doable today, or the fact that they don't have a news department, many stations that, that take national shows, such as Rush Limbaugh, everybody knows, mm -hmm. those kinds of shows. Some of them take those shows all day and all night long, so there's nothing local about it. And so you're not going to get any local news, and if something like that happens, then I don't know who would make the announcement. Uh -huh. But that's what we do. That's our stock and trade. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we all, you know, there's that expression, you make your bones. I made my bones during the, I, I got the morning show in uh, I, uh, March of 2007, and in April we had the floods. So you're mm -hmm. out there sloshing around in the right. water, wow. but that's what we do. And that's right. where we're the most value to the community, I mean, and, and, and things mm -hmm. like that. We got to, and that's how I met you, covering the elections. I mean, I could not have been luckier than to, to take over a morning show in a local market Mm -hmm. where there were local elections and then a national ele election. Oh, we have lucky. plenty of elections in New York. Boy, we sure do. We've got more coming. We've got the county executive coming up. We've got the district attorney. The, dist the district attorney candidates are already on the show, coming on the show. Not all right. of them yet. Uh -huh. but, uh, that's fun stuff. I, I, I really uh -huh. love it, to be and frank. Of course, you've got the city elections, the village elections, the town elections. They're all different. And the school Oh, we've got every level election. of government here. Every, fact, <laughs> every month or two, there's an election. When I first came to Westchester, I was amazed at that. Like, Greenberg right. absolutely mystifies me. I know that Hartsdale is there, parts of Scarsdale are in Greenberg, somewhere <laughs> I think I think that Dobbs Ferry is in Greenberg, and it it, there's villages, there's towns. And, you know, I always think the Greenberg Nature Center is in Scarsdale. How'd that happen? But I, I, I'm still oh, learning some stuff. Greenberg is 50 percent uh, unincorporated terri yes. territory. I remember this from my journalism. Life. Yes. Uh, 50 per there's six villages that take up the other 50 percent. Yep. Then, of course, the school districts have their own boundaries. And... The postal, the postal districts. Yeah, and I, I just, thing. I find it, I, I find it fascinating. But, um, I, but I'm very fortunate to do what I do. Yeah. I, I still pinch myself every morning. When I was doing nights, night radio, I liked it. Uh, but I, m morning radio is much more difficult. It's very different. We have mm -hmm. very short, much shorter segments. You do.